What is going on you guys? Welcome back to Finley Timekeeping. It's your boy back at you with another video. In this video, we are going to be going over one of probably the most underrated watches that Casio, which is a guy tier brand, has made. And this is the Casio, what's it say? W-218H module number 3224 uh, with the olive green or dark green, winter green, whatever green you want to say is on the case. So this watch Let's get right into it. So retails right at $20. You can actually find it a little bit cheaper depending on where you go. I got this from Walmart, so I was able to find this for low. And I really, really, really enjoy this thing. Thing is super, super light. It's got the strap that comes on it naturally. <coughs> Things actually very, very comfortable where I wear it for the purpose of working out. Um, timing my runs, timing my workouts, when I do interval training, things like that. And this is perfect for that. It fits on my wrist nicely. I barely remember that it's there. And when um, I'm wearing it out, I know that I'm not worried about it getting scratched and broken up because of that price point. It actually allows me to get multiple or replace it as I see fit. Also, there is a high amount of modability here. You just have to have a little bit of know-how as far as changing out the strap or changing off the case the case back or the um dial of this watch at all when you buy it it will come with a user guide and on page e-15 it's going to give you some specifications i'm going to read those off for you so you kind of know again the quality of this watch so it's got accuracy at normal temperature of plus minus 30 seconds a month Timekeeping has hours, minutes, seconds, PMs, day and day of the week. Time system switchable between 12 and 24 hour formats. Calendar system, auto calendar sets to 28 days for February. So you really don't have to do a whole lot of setting just to change the time on this watch. Um, it has a daily alarm and an hourly time signal if you so choose. I know I may have mine for 8.15 in the morning on um, Fridays, I don't know why, but I'll have to fix that. I'm gonna figure that out and use a guide for that. As far as it also has a stopwatch, it measures one to one hundredths of a second. Measure capacity is 59, minute, 59 minutes, 59.99 seconds, so just under an hour. It has elapsed time, split time, and two finishes. Has an LED mode, one lithium battery. The battery type is a CR2016, and this is the seven year battery that Casio is known for. It's one second of illumination operations per day with 20 seconds of alarm operation per day. So if you're just clicking the illumination once per day and then only using 20 seconds of an alarm per day, then it's gonna last you seven years. Now I did already crack open this watch. Um, it does have a Casio specific battery. So you gotta make sure you get that one specific, whether you get it from another watch you're no longer using or however you see fit. So it's gonna come, when you buy the watch, it's gonna come in the blue box that you're aware of but it's also going to come on this stand, right? This stand. So like I said, I bought it right at 20 bucks. It's gonna come on this stand and the user guide is going to be right here on the inside. Um, again, overall, I really, really like this watch. This is the fourth Casio that I've owned. I've had the F91W, I've had the A168W, then I've had the, I believe it's the A20, A1200. I believe, I believe it's the A1200. So, Castle Royale, Royale. And you can find all those videos on this page directly. I'm probably gonna make a playlist called um, Casio Watch Reviews. This is gonna go under, but this is how it's gonna look kind of when you buy it. Again, really great watch, really, really solid watch. Let me know any Casio watches I should get here in the future. I am going to be starting to get into maybe the um, sports, more sporty versions of it. So, um, watches that are steel, stuff like that. And those Casios that cost a little bit more money, the gold ones, the um, calculators, things like that. So I'm gonna let you guys know uh, about those Casio videos as I get the funds for that. If I get the funds, me buying some of the watches, I normally use that money to then go and buy different watches and the profits from the um, buying and reselling of watches, what I use to buy my personal collection, and then I make sure I use my addition, those initial funds of buying and selling the watch to actually buy my watches. So I'm gonna be doing a video on a recent pickup um, that originally was gonna be a flip, but is now going to my personal collection because I just like it that much. So I'll see you guys on that video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I will see you on the next one. Peace.